You'll need one of these battery powered LED strips with a self-adhesive backing. You can order this on Amazon or eBay. You'll also need a little bit of this high density gel wax used for making candles, probably about a cup and a half. You'll need more, a little more than what I show here to do a six by eight frame. This six by eight Riker mount frame is what I'm going to use for this, uh, this, this uh, video. Just put your gel wax in an oven safe container at 220 degrees. It'll probably take about an hour to fully melt. You won't need the batting, you can get rid of that. Go ahead and peel off the backing of the self-adhesive strip and stick it to the inside of the Riker mount frame. I like to hold it as close as I can to the front of the glass. This strip doesn't go around all four sides of the glass. It's not necessary. It covers about three quarters of the way around. I'm just making a notch in the back for the wire. When you're all done, you can put your battery pack behind the case. A little hot glue should hold it in place. Just clean up some fingerprints off the glass here. Don't want to leave any smudges or dirt. This is my original prototype. I'm just showing you guys that it is easy to remove the arrowheads. I'm going to take these arrowheads out to include them in the new frame.
The arrowheads pop right out without any wax attached to them. They're clean and undamaged. I'm trying something different this time around. I'm not just going to use uh, translucent points, which work really well. I'm also going to try some opaque points because I think that the way this is working out, it doesn't matter. They'll light up either way. You're seeing the end of my pour here where the gel got kind of thick. As it cools, it starts to harden pretty quickly. I'm going to lay these points out on the hardened gel, which is kind of lumpy at this point. And I'll stick it back in the oven as soon as I've got these points on there. 220 degrees is not enough to damage your points. Once this gel melts and the points start to sink to the bottom against the glass, you can use one of the Riker mount pins to scoot them around and position them where you want them. You'll probably notice some bubbles once the, uh, the gel starts melting um, that was a problem for me, and I still have a few. Um, I, I have an, another system for treating the gel to reduce the number of bubbles. But I'll talk about that maybe in a later video. If you leave the, uh, the arrowheads in the gel in the oven for you know, a good hour and a half to two hours. Uh, it's a low temperature and the bubbles will uh, usually dissipate by then, or the majority of them will anyway. If you notice just some surface bubbles as you take them out, I like to use the Riker pins to just pop them real quick. Some people say the bubbles actually are cool in the display, so it's not that big of a deal either way. So here we go. You can see I detached the battery pack. My first one, the, the plastic, melted. The rest of the wiring and everything was undamaged. So I'm reattaching a new battery pack. I'll put some connectors on this later, but I'm just going to demonstrate for now. One thing I've noticed is really hard to get the effect that you see in person on camera. So I'm going to try to show it from a few different angles, but uh, until you see it in person, it's, it just doesn't compare on the screen. It's so much more colorful and bright and impressive when you see it in person. Well, anyway, there you go. That's a simple way to display your arrowheads. It's a little bit different than what most people are doing out there these days. 
and all of the supplies are easily available on amazon and ebay.